Lesson 5.5, Prime and Composite Numbers. A prime number is a whole number, that's a counting number, greater than one that has only two factors, one and itself. So two is a prime number because we just have a one and a two. It's one times two equals two. And three is a prime number because we have one times three, which equals three. They only have two factors, one and themselves. Four is not a prime number because we have one times four and two times two. Five is a prime number. It is one because we only have one times five equals five. And six is not a prime number. We have one times six and two times three. And seven is a prime number. We only have one times seven, which equals seven. A composite number is a whole number, that's a counting number, greater than one that has more than two factors. Four is a composite number because we have one times four equals four and two times two equals four. So the factors of four are a one, two, and four. It has three factors. So it's composite. It has more than two factors. We can look at prime and composite numbers as arrays. For the prime number two, we only have one row, one times two. For the prime number three, we only have one times three. And for the prime number five, we can only make one times five. But for a composite number like four, we can make one times four or two times two. For a composite number six, we can do one times six or two times three. And for the composite number eight, we can do one times eight or two times four. Some composite numbers have many factors. 12 has the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 18 has 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And 24 has many 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. All prime numbers have only two factors. 2 is prime, and its factors are 1 and 2. 3 is prime, its factors are 1 and 3. 5 is prime, and its factors are 1 and 5. They only have two factors, 1 and themselves. 1 is not a prime number because it doesn't have two factors. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. We have a 1, a 1, and a 1. They're all just a 1. It only has one factor, 1. And one is not a composite number because it doesn't have more than two factors. One is not prime or composite. And remember, the same factors and factors in different order are counted once. So the factors for nine, because we have one times nine and three times three, we only count one of these threes. The factors are one, three, and nine. And for 12, we have 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and then we flipped it around and did 4 times 3 and 6 times 2 and 12 times 1. But the factors for 12 are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Even if they're in a different order, we only count them once. We can use divisibility rules to help us tell whether a number is prime or composite Remember we did these divisibility rules? We did them back in video 5.2. There'll be a link in this description if you missed it. So we can use the divisibility rules to help us to find if a number is prime or composite. And if a number is divisible by any other number than one in itself, then the number is composite. So is 11 prime or composite? We test it with divisibility. Is 11 divisible by 2? 2 if the dividend is even. Well, 11's not even, so no, it's not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? It says it's divisible by 3 if the sum of the dividend's digits is divisible by 3. We add for the 11, there's a 1 and a 1 to, in the place values here. So we add 1 plus 1, that equals 2, and 2 isn't divisible by 3. 
Now, if that really confused you, you need to go back to video 5.2 and watch how, what we learned about the divisibility rules. And is 11 divisible by 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10 without a remainder? We test consecutive numbers and no, it's not divisible by those without a remainder. So 11 is a prime number. So consecutive numbers means one, that means they're following one after the other, like one, two, three, four, five, six, they're all in order following each other. Those are consecutive numbers. So we test with those and we divide 11 by each of those in order. And if there's a remainder, then it's not divisible. And we see that 11 is a prime number. Its only factors are one and 11. Is 57 prime or composite? Well, we can try doing 57 divided by 2, and we get a 28 remainder 1. So it didn't divide e evenly, so it's not divisible by 2. It has to divide evenly to be divisible. We do 57 divided by 3, and we get a quotient of 19. And because 57 can be divided evenly by 3 with no remainder, it has 3 and 19 as factors. And 57 has the factors 1 and 57. And we found that 57 also has the factors 3 and 19. Well, that's more than two factors. So 57 is composite. And once we find a third factor, we can stop testing with division because that third factor makes it composite. It, at that point, it has more than two factors, so it's not prime anymore. We can use a grid to model the factors of 12. We have one row of 12. We have 1 times 12. We have two rows of 6, so that's 2 times 6. We have three rows of 4, so that's 3 times 4. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. And 12 has more than two factors, so 12 is composite. The product of two prime numbers will be a composite. 3 and 5 are prime, but the product of 3 and 5 is 15. And the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Because we used the 3 and 5 as factors to get that product. And 15 has more than two factors, so it's composite. We know to be prime, it can only have one and itself. When we multiply these together, it now has these as factors. That's more than two factors. We need to circle true or false and give an example to prove our choice. So true or false, only even numbers are composite numbers. Can you think of an even number that's a prime? Can you think of some odd numbers that are composite numbers? So is this true or false? If you said false, you're correct, because 2 is an even number and it's prime. Its factors are only a 1 and a 2. And 9, 15, and 21 are odd numbers, and they're composites because they have more than two factors. So true or false, composite numbers cannot have an odd amount of factors. So it can't have 3, 5, 7, 9 factors as the number of its factors, of how many factors it has. Can you think of composite numbers that have only three factors? or five factors? If you can, then that would prove this statement wrong. So true or false, composite numbers cannot have an odd amount of factors. If you said false, you're right. Nine is a composite number and it has three factors, a one, a three, and a nine, because we only list the three one time for the three times three. True or false, prime numbers have two factors. Do you remember? Is that true or false? 
If you said true, you're right. They have one and themselves as factors. So those are the two factors, one and themselves. The multiples of any number other than one are composite numbers because a multiple of a number has more factors than one and itself. Let's look at the multiples of two. We do our two facts and we get multiples of two as two, four, six, and eight. But two doesn't count because it's a multiple of one. It's got a one as a fact here, see? So we have the multiples four, six, and eight. And the factors of four, we have one times four and two times two. So we have a one, two, and four. That's three factors. It's composite. Six. We can do 1 times 6 and 2 times 3, so its factors are 1, 2, 3, 6. That has more than 2 factors, so that's composite. And 8, we have 1 times 8 and 2 times 4, so it has the factors of 1, 2, 4, and 8. That's more than 2 factors, so it's composite. So the multiples of any number other than 1 are composite because a multiple of a number has more factors than one and itself. So remember the multiples of any number other than one are not prime numbers. They are composite because they have more than two factors. The multiples of three, we can find them by doing our three times facts. We have a three, six, nine, and 12, but it has to be other than one. So three times one equals three doesn't count. It's a multiple of one. And that leaves us with 6, 9, and 12. And 6 has 1, 2, 3, and 6 as factors. That's more than 2, so it's composite. 9 has the factors 1, 3, and 9, so that's a composite. And 12 has the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, so that's a composite. They have more than two factors. The multiples of any number, so these are the multiples of 3, other than one, are not prime numbers. They're composite because they have more than two factors. They have more factors than one and themselves. In our next lesson, 5.6, we're going to talk about number patterns and the rules for number patterns. I'm very proud of you for watching math videos on YouTube, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.